Welcome to today's stock analysis, where we will analyze two companies in the gambling industry, Caesars Entertainment Incorporated and Betson. Our focus is on assessing their intrinsic valuations using five distinct models. By employing these analytical methods, we aim to uncover potential investment opportunities and identify compelling valuations. Let's dive into the intricate world of stock analysis and discover what these insights reveal about today's stocks. Now, we've seamlessly integrated the ticker symbols for Caesars and Betson into our spreadsheet, automatically importing the relevant stock data. Examining the 365-day graph, we observe a fluctuating flat trajectory in both stock prices over the past year. Caesars has lost approximately 17%, while Betson has shown an increase of close to 9%. Shifting our focus to valuations in comparison to target prices, Caesars appears to be approximately 35% below the mean analyst target price. Similarly, Betson has a 29% difference to the analyst target price, signifying potential undervaluation for both stocks compared to their analyst target prices. Now, let's delve into a more detailed analysis of the intrinsic values for these two stocks, utilizing the five distinct intrinsic valuation models embedded in this spreadsheet. This exploration will provide a comprehensive understanding of Caesars and Betson's intrinsic valuations. Our initial stop in the realm of intrinsic valuation brings us to Graham's revised valuation model a creation of the legendary Benjamin Graham. This model enables us to determine intrinsic value based on three key inputs, earnings per share, the anticipated growth of the company, and the current yield of a AAA bond. Fortunately, our automated spreadsheet streamlines the process, requiring only the addition of the company's projected growth, readily available on platforms like Yahoo Finance. Upon incorporating the projected growth for Caesars into this model, the intrinsic value calculation yields $61.67. Remarkably, this indicates that Caesar's intrinsic value is approximately 42% above its current stock price. Applying the same methodology to Betson, the intrinsic value computation results is $202.53, revealing a substantial difference of 95% relative to the current stock price. Both stocks thereby seem to be undervalued compared to their intrinsic value. Moving on to the next valuation model, we explore the Peter Lynch dividend adjusted fair value model. In this method, the Peter Lynch fair value is determined by adding the earnings growth rate and the dividend yield, and then dividing the result by the price to earnings ratio. The output is a value either above or below 1, where a value below 1 suggests an overvalued stock, while a value above 1 implies an undervalued stock. Upon applying this model to Caesars and Betson, we get very different results. Caesars is very close to 1, indicating fair value, and Betson's is 2.13 indicating an undervaluation. To refine this assessment, we perform additional calculations although I won't delve into the specifics in this video to derive a more tangible fair stock price. For Caesars, this computation yields a fair stock price of $42.64, very close to the current stock price. On the other hand, Betson's fair stock price is calculated at $220.24, almost twice its current stock price. Now, let's delve into the comparable company analysis, also known as the multiples valuation model. This approach involves identifying companies similar to the one under scrutiny and utilizing their price-to-earnings ratios to calculate intrinsic value by multiplying with the company's earnings per share. In our analysis, I've included comparable companies for both Caesars and Betson. Focusing on Caesars, the intrinsic value derived from this model stands at $54.36, 25% above the current stock price. Shifting our attention to Betson, the calculated intrinsic value is $208.09, 100% above its current stock price. This comparison unveils interesting dynamics, suggesting that Caesars is currently trading at a valuation slightly under its industry peers, while Betson might be experiencing a substantial undervaluation. As we continue to explore diverse intrinsic valuation models, we aim to paint a comprehensive picture of the true worth of these companies in the market. Now, let's explore the dividend discount model, a method that delves into a company's dividend payouts over recent years. We calculate an average dividend growth rate, and this, along with the discount rate, is used to determine the intrinsic value of the stock. The spreadsheet also offers the flexibility to input a custom dividend growth rate, allowing for adjustments to be more conservative, if desired. Caesars does not pay dividends to its shareholders, so we can't use the model on this stock. However, for Betson, a company with consistent dividend payouts, we leverage the yearly dividend information available on Yahoo Finance. By incorporating the total yearly payouts and setting the payout interval to yearly, we obtain an average dividend growth rate of 17.03%. However, this is an average dividend growth rate that might not be sustainable going into the future. Therefore, 
we apply a conservative custom growth rate of 5%. Utilizing a discount rate of 7.5%, the calculated intrinsic value for Betson comes in at $267.44. Notably, this intrinsic value is more than twice the current stock price. Our final stop on this intrinsic value journey brings us to the discounted cash flow model. This model values a stock by estimating its future free cash flows, discounting them to present value using a chosen discount rate. It then factors in total debt, adds cash and cash equivalents, and divides the result by shares outstanding to determine the, the intrinsic stock value per share. For Caesars, we can source the necessary data from Yahoo Finance, including cash and cash equivalents, total debt, shares outstanding, and free cash flow data available online. When we integrate this data into the model, the intrinsic value calculated stands at $71. Remarkably, this is 63% over the current stock price. Of note, Caesars experienced a negative free cash flow in 2020, which decreases the viability of this model and we have therefore used a custom growth rate of 7%. On the other hand, applying the same methodology to Betson, the model yields an intrinsic value of $306, which is almost three times the current stock price. These diverse intrinsic valuation models provide us with a comprehensive perspective on the intrinsic values of Caesars and Betson, offering valuable insights for investors seeking a deeper understanding of these stocks in the market. In the summary section, we've assessed and compiled all calculated intrinsic values for Caesars and Betson, making strategic decisions on which valuation models to include in the final calculation. Using the average intrinsic value for the four applicable models, the mean intrinsic value for Caesars is $57.40, which is above the current stock price. Acknowledging the inherent uncertainties, a margin of safety of 25% is incorporated, leading to an acceptable stock price of $43.05, slightly below the current stock price. In the case of Betson, all five models are included leading to an intrinsic value of $240.88. By applying a margin of safety of 25%, the final acceptable buying price hovers at $180.66, which is well above the current stock price. By changing the marking of safety to 50%, we still get an intrinsic value over the current stock price. In conclusion, Caesar's average intrinsic value, including a margin of safety, is very close to its current stock price. However, according to the calculations, applying even a 50% margin of safety for Betson still results in an intrinsic value above the current stock price. Based upon these data Betson emerges as the more favorable option of the two stocks. If you found value in this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. It truly goes a long way in supporting our small channel. Thank you for being part of our community. Closing this video, I'd like to highlight that the intrinsic valuation tool featured in this analysis is available on my Patreon page, along with a complete valuation list of all stocks analyzed on this channel. For your convenience, you can find the link to the page in the video description below. Now, a crucial disclaimer, I am not a professional financial advisor. The stock analysis presented on this YouTube channel is intended for informational purposes only and should not be construed as financial advice or a recommendation to buy or sell any stocks. Always conduct your own due diligence and seek professional advice before making any investment decisions.